Hello and welcome to my channel and as it's Wednesday it's time for the alphabet challenge. This is the challenge that's hosted every fortnight uh, by Hilary who is Pink Bubble Cards here on YouTube and every fortnight Hilary will pick out a new letter and she puts either a crafty technique or a crafty item to each letter. Last time round she picked out the letter F and she said you could either use foam, which I'm using, uh, which I have used for my project this time round, or you could have used felt. Now she picked out uh, another letter this morning, letters T, T for twine. So I've got my thinking cap on for that one. I've got two weeks to to make it this. Uh, so this foam of uh, I've had this foam moustache for years and years and years. I don't tend to use foam, but it's got nice bright colours on it. But I did think it was quite thin for for foam, probably because it's just a very, very, very cheap brand that I had. Uh, but it's die cut nice and easy with the heart-shaped dies. But when I tried to emboss with this, embossing folder it didn't work there was just the faintest of faint impressions on it and then it disappeared completely within like a minute or so uh, and this embossing folder here is usually very good if you if I use it with card so I don't know whether it's because it's thinner than most foam I think uh, if you know if you have any idea why it didn't work, maybe you'd like to let me know. Right, here's the card that I've made. And I've been gifted this gorgeous ice lolly shaker. This was made by Jessica Marvel. She sent me this and they, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love shakers, but I'm absolutely hopeless at them. <laughs> they tend to... Uh, I tend to have le leaks in them, you know. I shake them and all the wee sequins can <laughs> fall out of mine. <laughs> but uh, maybe I'll try it again someday. And these aren't these sentiments absolutely perfect for this? The orange picks up the orange of the ice lolly and the purple for the background. I got this uh, from Handmade by Abigail. I was lucky enough to win one of her giveaways and it was a bundle of crafty prizes way back probably about August last year. So I thought these nice bold sentiments was perfect for this card. And obviously I've die cut the two hearts with the foam and this lovely doodle bug image. Uh, this was rescued from the 2023 calendar. Pretty sure Melis from a uh, Mel from Melis Makes had sent me made me that wee desk calendar. So I rescued the two wee cupcakes off it. So and I thought it looked really nice as a, another embellishment on this card. I love the brightness of this card and. Uh, I can't resist with doodlebugs. <laughs> I love how doodlebug has a uh, the face on on all sorts of objects and food. They always do the big face. So I hope you like my card. It is a very simple project, but um, and I'm looking forward to sharing next time round something be, uh, make, something using twine. So got my thinking cap on because I, I'm not sure what I'll come up with, but I've got plenty of twine. So, wait. but remember to check out the hashtag to see what everybody else has made. There's been several, uh, there's been a couple of tutorials for foam flowers, which have been very interesting. So check out the, the hashtags. Um, the Crafty Seas came up with a gorgeous 
foam flower ball. So I hope you like the project and I hope you've all been safe in these storms if they've been in, uh, affecting you. It's been really bad here in central Scotland um, on Monday night. Storm Isha was particularly bad. And last last night, overnight, we had Storm Jocelyn. Two really bad storms, but luckily enough for me that I, I haven't had any damage. But it's been really bad. Uh, the worst stormy weather that we've had here since, I think, the... Boxing Day storm in nine back in nineteen ninety eight. That was pretty bad, but, uh, but as I said, lucky for me there was no damage. I hope there's been no damage to yours, your house. Uh, and then I'll see you soon. And bye bye.